Hey, what's up, guys? This is Joel from uh, JP's Corner slash airtights.com slash the coin supply store. Uh, just bringing you another video. We had talked about uh, trying to get one of these out weekly. Uh, that did not work out. The pandemic came. Uh, short staff, things got tough. Uh, but we are back to it. We're going to uh, shoot a lot of these, try to start getting uh, the content back out. And our goal is to, uh, again, upload uh, a video each week for you. And then hopefully next year, uh, a couple videos a week. So uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, a question we get asked a lot. What's the difference between the coin magnifiers that we carry? Um, people hear that you know everybody should should have a, a reliable coin magnifier but with so many different kinds which one's the uh, right one for you so so it's a good question that uh, a lot of people just need a little guidance on uh, I'm just gonna go over a few that we carry we actually have a pretty large line but uh, each of these uh, have a different use so we'll just go over uh, kind of your standard large handle magnifier uh, what is referred to as a jeweler's loop, and then a small pocket lighted magnifier. Um, now, just to address the difference and, and why you might use one over the other, as we say on our website, uh, it, it just depends on what you're doing. The, the handle uh, is great for seeing larger surfaces, uh, the smaller ones, you, you get uh, more magnification power, but you're going to be able to see less and less of the coin. Uh, so those are more for uh, checking for mint errors, um, things like that, where you really need to focus in on a small specific spot. Uh, and then on our website, we have these broken down into different categories, which are jeweler's loops, pocket magnifiers, Watchmakers loops, you might have seen those if you've ever been in a jewelry store or pawn shop. Uh, that is uh, uh, what we have right here that uh, literally uh, you will put right up to your eye and down against the coin. Um, we have reading magnifiers, uh, a phone scope magnifier that works with your smartphone, um, and even something as high powered as a digital microscope that you can uh, zoom in extremely uh, high resolution and even save those photos to your computer. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start with um, the five inch large magnifier. <clears throat> Now, as you can see, uh, some people just like something with a bit more weight that they can really grip and hold in their hands. Uh, this is five inches, it's got a long grip, um, and it's just kind of your run of the mill basic magnifier. So um, if you're kind of just looking over a, a coin and you're just wanting to see kind of the basics, I have uh, a Chinese panda here. Um, you know, this is, uh, you know, a good option for that. Um, it does have a smaller inset, so you can see things a bit closer, uh, but again, kind of your, your run-of-the-mill standard handheld magnifier. Next, we get to the, uh, what's, what's most commonly referred to as a watchmaker's loop. Um, this has uh, higher magnification power. This is a 7X. You can get stronger though. Uh, we do have these that uh, go uh, up to 10X. So uh, anywhere from four to 10X. And you can see how with this, uh, I just have a 1879 Morgan here. So it's a little bit uh, more worn down. Uh, and you know, with this, you can see, uh, kind of the closer, uh, you know, s smaller details, um, and really, really 
get down to the nitty gritty to see uh, what you have and and uh, what might stick out if you want to send something in um, for grading. This would be a good option. All right, last but not least, we're going to look at the uh, lec term. Uh, this is the most uh, high powered magnifier that we're looking at today. And uh, also, there's two really great features about this that makes this a popular magnifier. One, it's very small, as you'll see. Uh, people like this because they can fit it right in their pocket, carry it around. It doesn't bulge. Uh, it's comfortable um, and you can take it with you on the go. Um, let me just get this out here. Now, that's compacted, so that does pop out. This is the other feature. You'll notice a little light there. So you don't necessarily have to be in a room like this that has really good lighting. Uh, you could be, you know, in your office um, or anywhere really with just one light and you do have this to make sure that you can see all the details well. Now, again, with this, uh, the light along with the extra magnification, I'm picking up uh, tons of details that you just otherwise wouldn't be able to see with the other magnifiers that we talked about. So uh, that's a great option. Um, it is a little more high priced, um, but uh, that's what you'll find obviously when you're going from any of the lower X magnifiers to the higher X magnifiers. Um, that's it for today. I hope this was helpful. Uh, as always, if you ever have any questions, uh, we answer our phones um, every Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 4.30. Uh, somebody will always be there to provide great customer service, help you out with anything you need. If you have additional questions, uh, give us a shout. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe uh, to continue to see uh, the rest of our videos and more info. Thanks, guys.